guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 37 of Tropical Rouge. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, but it was all a trap at the end of the day. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Looks like a towel. I mean, of course, there's seashells everywhere because it was lighting up, but oh. That's unique. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Their memories. Why don't one look like Sakura from, um, <laughs> Zombie Lamp Saga? I mean, hold up. Is that a hint that, you know, Kayere Hondo is going to be in the next Pretty Curious series? Because if it is... <laughs> what about that big one right there? It's got to be the queens. Oh. 
Oh, no. The legendary, yeah. Let me guess your memories. It is, ain't it? It has to be. Because why why would you kinda just show it to Laura and Laura only? And then the fact is Manasu and friends like literally come down and snap her out of it. So whatever it is, I ain't gonna know until probably the end of the episode. Does she currently have the full casket, though? Yeah. You know, almost basically... Ser uh, now this is getting very similar to the first season of... Um, yes, Pretty Cure 5, Go-Go. No, well, yes, Pretty Cure 5, not Go-Go. Because that's what Desperado wanted. She wanted to live young forever. That's a good question. Well, first we need to get the ring back. Hmm? about to find out though but oh oh baby Laura I 
I'm gonna cry. She's so pretty. Let me guess, baby monitor. <gasps> it is. <laughs> the fact that these two knew each other way before they actually met each other. See, now this is 100% Mermaid Melody vibes right here. Oh my god. So then, but the question is, why would oh, the queen essentially take Laura's memory about that so that, you know, mermaids wouldn't be found out? I mean, if it's that, then yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but something tells me she got scolded for it. Because she didn't return. Oh, baby waited. And waited. Oh! I love kids. <laughs> Look at that. Well, we know that's all going to change by the end of this series. That's not fair.
that ring back and fast. Well, it's a big ass whale, but still, it's cool. I honestly don't know. Hmm? 
Mm-hmm. And we solved this problem so, you know, freaking Laura does not have to forget you guys. Because we don't want that. Of course, Queen Well was the one who saw her. Let's hope not. There's got to be a way for her to reverse it so that no mermaid can forget the fact that they met a human. And I'm guessing we're we're not going to see that until like probably because we are very close to the end of the show. Um, by next week, we only have like 10 episodes left because there's usually only 48, 49 episodes. And the fact that we're getting so close, which also means we're getting to the end of this show and... We about to go into, I think it's called Delicious Party Pretty Care. So, I, I am sad. I mean, because they've already showed the logo for the new series. And I, of course, as someone who is a Pretty Care fanatic, I'm always excited for new Pretty Care. But then I always hate the fact that we're losing the current group. And we're moving on from them to the next group and such. But hopefully they do figure out how they can try to erase it so that no one has to erase their memories about meeting a human because that's terrible. I mean, you gotta feel bad for Laura Monacy because they met when they were kids and of course, like, she had to forget it because of the fact is meeting a human is forbidden and even on this journey that she has as of right now, by the end of it, Laura will forget everyone else and all the memories that she's made for 37 episodes and that's horrible and you don't want that for anyone. I would hate for that to happen to anybody. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. But the new power up is nice. I like it. It's adorable. Very different. Love the oil. Are we kind of saying that this is the final, like, Sango focus episode? I mean, because, oh God, how would you even say that, though? Because, I mean, like I said, by next week we'll be on 38 and we'll be on the final 10 episodes of this show. Um, and so I'm guessing what they're probably going to do is, because it's a group of five girls, so... For the final 10 episodes, we're probably going to get at least, you know, two moments or two very focused episode driven episodes for each girl leading into the final episode where everybody gets the main focus because of the fact is, but it makes you wonder like how they're going to do this because she, it said right there in the preview, she hasn't chosen a high school yet and such. So... She will we'll probably see her in, in a new uniform. Yes, of course. But 
excuse me, will this, will she still be able to spend time with them? See, that's so many unanswered questions. Oh my god, Asuka! Baby! Oh my god, bunny girl senpai, my baby reptalia! No, Bora, no, I don't want this, because it's gonna feel so weird if she, like, this is like how, okay, last night when I watched the freaking, um, Udamichi-san, Udamichi Onisan ending, and how, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I thought Amichi was leaving and such and it's like that dynamic is going to be off because of the fact that she's not going to be there with him all the time you know so I wonder how this is going to go like I still think she'll be in the in every single episode because of course she is important to the group all five girls are very vital and important to this group but she's gonna be busy because she's going to high school but we ain't gonna know until next week but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 37 of tropical rouge pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday sunday for episode 38 bye guys